Hello everyone, welcome to my first coding tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to indent large uh, blocks of code uh, instantly. So this is something that I was struggling for a long time or actually didn't understand how to do it. So let's say we want to place all this code under a loop. In this case, we're going to do a while loop. So we'll do while true, run the next blocks of code. So what I used to do for a long time, it's uh, let's, so let's cut, cut this and so we're gonna paste it here. And as we can see, like this uh, line of, these lines of code are where it was before. Only the first one is indented. So what we could do is we could just use tab on each one, uh, something that I used to do for a long time, embarrassingly. Um, but yeah, that's so super inefficient and more with larger blocks of code. So what we're gonna do is we're going to Let's do this. So we paste again, we select the code and we do tab. So that gives us the whole thing uh, indented just like we wanted it. So yeah, and we can actually do the same thing with shift tab to de-indent the block of code. So yeah, tab, unta uh, we can tab as many times as we want, just select the whole thing and that's yeah. So yeah, that's basically how you do it. That's how you indent large blocks of code. So uh, let's try it with something different. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So we're gonna do another example. So let's say we wanna choose this class um, and place it under a loop, which is something you would never do in coding. But yeah, we, that's, uh, we need this for our example. So let's place and this and yeah, so we can see that this is not under the while loop. So we could actually just like indent every single one, but we're not gonna do that. So what we do, select the whole class, uh, tab. So yeah, that gives, that puts the whole thing under a true loop. And yeah, that's basically how, how I would do that. Like just place large blocks of code under loops, under other things that require like indentation. Uh, it's something I discovered, something I was struggled with for a long time. So yeah, that's basically how, how to do that. So yeah, anyways, that is everything for today. So remember, tab, shift tab, and yeah, that would be everything. So anyways, if you like this tutorial, I would probably like to do a lot more in the future. That would be a great idea. So yeah, anyways, that's everything for today. See everybody, uh, have a nice day.